Travis Gracie, he is not. Damian Maya, perhaps he is not. But a lot of people believe that we have not seen a layered jiu-jitsu game in this division in a very long time. And I think he sold a lot of tickets coming through today. John, that's me. I would have called him all those guys. I would have put him on the Mount Rushmore grappling yeah. before I even know what he could do inside the octagon. <laughs> but this kid, to me, when I watch him, he possesses a skill that allows for him to get submissions because he doesn't chase. He's very patient. He's patient on top, and he's patient off of his back. He can grapple anywhere. And because of that, he finds ways to end, to end fights in that manner. And he is a little bit of a specialist in this modern day, right? He doesn't like when people denigrate his striking. He has gone to great lengths to improve that part of his yep. game. But this is a BJJ practitioner. Make no bones about it. He's going to try to get this fight to the floor early and often tonight. Strike Force now UFC veteran Bobby King Green. He actually changed his name on his birth certificate officially to King Green, which I guess is neither here nor there. But I think a lot of people, especially his fellow fighters, are really happy to see Bobby Green realize this type of success at this stage of his career. Of course, 2023, huge year for him. UFC main events, back-to-back -back bonuses against Tony Ferguson and Grant Dawson. And he believes tonight his boxing is going to be too slick. He's going to be too fast on the feet for this particular opponent. Only time will tell, but at least on paper, Green feels like he has a lot of advantages in this stylistic matchup tonight. have now graced the octagon. They would lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bobby King Green! So Herb Dean, third man Ready, in there fight. for this one. Ready. All right, we are on the way with this stand-up only fight as we remind you of the rule set here. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Fighters also cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. May the best man win, and we are on the way. Establishing the jab here. Overhand attempt now, it's blocked by Miller. Slips the shot. Oh, nice jab to the head by Miller. Slips. Both fighters throwing heat now. He was high on that one. Slips the punch. Oh, nice straight left there. So more output, at least in the early going. the front kick to the body now nice work on the feet by Miller and another left hand there big head kick oh knee strike right to the midsection there there. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Green. Wow, 
strong roundhouse kick there. Three minutes to go. Oh, nice kick. Clipped him with the right hand there. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. I need more. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh. Fighters separate from the clinch. Both guys appear to win. Checks that leg kick. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Nice leg kick. Not there. Miller's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Under two minutes to go in the round. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, nice strike landed there by Green. Oh, another nice combination, just absolutely picking him apart on the feet. I'd probably be tapping to the strikes. I mean, he is destroying him, but don't sell yourself short. You don't tap the strikes. You go Never. to sleep, John. But this guy has been putting combinations together just so beautifully. I don't know what he can do to try to change it. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Well, so an early lead for him here tonight. He came out aggressively, and that decision has certainly paid off. Good start to round one. Pretty strong jab there by Miller. Straight right hand, no good. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Miller's eye is closing up. Oh, clean hook there. Final seconds of the round. Oh. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, round two. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking. Oh, there's a head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Now we're going. Green's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Big kick land. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can find the shot that's going to finish the fight. Another straight left. 
Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into his car. Green gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Miller's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You'd think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. He's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. Oh! Oh! Under three minutes now to go in the round. Miller's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Green. Really bleeding something fierce now. That cut's not getting any better. We got the best cut men in the game. Got to think they're going to be busy in between rounds. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Missed with that right hand. Green's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Right hook to the head block. Oh, big knee there. Under 90 seconds to go. Oh! Back to his feet. Looking for that left hand, just missed. Miller's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop it. He's hurt bad. Under a minute to go. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing stroke. Every stroke. Oh! Oh! That's it! One! Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 17 seconds of round number two. To play the winner by knockout, Bobby King Green. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight.